So right now I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the condenser and uh, radiator fan. Pull this off. I've already got the coolant drained for another project, so this isn't going to rush out, but if I didn't, you might be able to not have to drain the entire thing, you know, get a rag up underneath here, um, and stuff both of these just to minimize the leakage. So the whole thing slides off here, and you press in the top, and then there's this press tab here to disconnect. There we go. There's one more connector at the, uh, it's the bottom of the radiator, and so I'm up underneath the car pulling this underskirting out of the way so you can see. It's not a great shot, but it's kind of squeeze on that and pull that out. Then you've got three 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, so to make a little bit more room, you've got these little, two little pull pin clips. You just, you just pull and it expands. So there's one, two there, and then you have to kind of push. There's a, a nipple poking out that you have to push through. And then this thing comes off. There we go. So you see it's one of these. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to take this off as well, because I still have some coolant in here. I don't want to dump it everywhere. There you go. This guy comes right out. There's one bolt. This clip down here that had to come out. This guy. Um, so once I pulled that out, uh, I was able to lift the entire thing out, and it's still connected yeah, here and here. But that made it a lot makes it a lot easier to access these. There we go. That guy's off. So here's the new one versus the old one. There's one little clip that you need to take off this, install on here. Let's drop the new one in place. line up the three little pegs on the bottom. So you got three three bolts on top and then three little pegs on the bottom that hold this in place. Reinsert these. And this one goes back in. Lines up. There's another one down in there. Another one down in there. These holes line up great. It's a good, good part. And then the connector down at the bottom. All right. Plug this in. These two connect back together. And then it slides back on. Slide back on. Push this little peg through. You may need a little bit of help. I use a screwdriver to reach down in there and hold this, uh, hold this on the back, so you can apply some force to it. These two little clippies. 
پشت میره پشت این then top off any coolant you may have lost from removing that tube and removing the reservoir um, you should be good to go so the reason I took this I needed to change this in the first place the radiator fan which is on the right side well the driver's side stopped working and I didn't realize that um, until I tried to change the coolant and the process of changing the coolant you need to wait until the fan comes on and the fan wasn't coming on so one one way to check it is uh, at looking at these terminals here this is the plug for that fan motor um, you can check it with an ohmmeter if the resistance doesn't show up I mean it, it should be about four four to seven ohms I think my my new one reads at seven ohms the the condenser fan is like two and a half. It was open, so there was no, uh, it just on my ohmmeter, it just reads one.